Battlefield 5 has introduced some very different mechanics into the franchise. We now have full soldier animations for reviving other soldiers. We have personal healing pouches to apply to our soldiers when we take damage. And we have to directly interact with medical crates or resupply stations to get the health we need. In a future update, however, DICE is going to be introducing some more big changes and extensions to the way players can obtain health and ammo as well within live gameplay. And one of the things they're adding is actually something that the community has been requesting for a long time, and it's previously been present in another Battlefield game. The feature that I'm talking about was most recently seen in Battlefield Hardline when it released in 2015, and it allowed players to move up on friendly medics and support players and either grab health or ammo directly from the player health from medics and ammo from support players. This introduced a way for players to get what they needed without having to rely on their teammates dropping the crates that supplied those items, which was a common problem in previous Battlefield titles. Sometimes medics wouldn't drop their medical crates unless it was for themselves, and that usually meant the crate was dropped in a place that wasn't particularly helpful to teammates, and support players would often do the same as well. Now, it wasn't a massive issue. You'd still find medical and ammo crates in the usual spots around the map, as players would drop them where the action was, but there were times where the system in Hardline did make a lot of sense, being able to take ammo directly from support players and taking health directly from medics. DICE is now taking that work that Visceral Games did, and it was previously built on in Medal of Honor Warfighter as well, and they're implementing it into Battlefield 5, albeit with some slight changes. In this Battlefield 5 system of obtaining health or ammo directly from other players, the medical support player that you're looking to get something from has to have the crate gadget in one of their gadget slots. They don't have to be holding it in their hands or anything, it just has to be available in their loadout, and of course that means picking it in the loadout screen before they spawn into a match. This directly breaks up the current meta of most players running around with the medical or ammo pouches, which can be tossed out near constantly. The pouches themselves, they'll still be in the game and it will still be an option for you to choose those and run with those if you want to. They're not going away, but DICE is adding an extra element to the crates to make them a more attractive choice. This screenshot here that was shared on Twitter by JJJU, a designer at DICE LA, shows the new system in action. The medic soldier that you're looking at has the medical crate chosen as a gadget in their loadout, and so a button prompt appears on the medic when you're close enough, allowing you to grab health directly from that player. This will work in the same way for support players if they have the ammo crate equipped as a gadget and you're within range to grab ammo from them. That interaction process of you either taking ammo or health from the player, it has the same cooldown structure as if the crate itself was on the ground, so you can't just repeatedly run up to that player and keep grabbing ammo or health at a moment's notice. You're going to have to wait for the cooldown to finish before you can grab more of what you need. Also, with the first implementation of this system, you're only going to be able to obtain primary and secondary ammunition from support soldiers who've got the crate equipped in their loadout. So, if you want to grab some more gadget ammo for your Panzerfaust or your Piat launcher, you're going to need to find a crate that's been placed on the ground directly, or you'll need to find a full resupply station to get all of your gadget ammunition back. Grenades, they can still only be replenished from resupply stations as well. That's not changed with this new system. And also for this first implementation of the system, DICE isn't going to be rewarding the medics and support players with any XP points at all if other players take health or ammo directly from their bodies. And you taking the health or ammo from them isn't going to reward you with any points either. Now, I think this is because the team doesn't directly see this system as a team play action. The soldier carrying that crate should really place it down on the ground, and that action, that constitutes team play. Now, I'm not 100% sure, and I can't find any proper explanation for this from any of the designers at the moment, but I'm assuming that's the reason. 
Plus, if a medic or support player chooses to equip the health or ammo pouches rather than the crate, they're able to toss out those pouches directly to players who need them, which is currently a team play action. So I can understand why DICE isn't handing out any points if you run up to a medic and take health from them. I can understand, but it might cause some problems because people love getting XP points in Battlefield games. Now, alongside this new system, in the next patch, which I think is coming in the next week or so, DICE will be adding further smaller changes to healing and ammo systems as well, but they're not revealing what those are yet, and they're going to wait for the patch notes to drop before people can find out. Now, perhaps these changes will just be much smaller overall and they're not worth mentioning. Maybe they're changes to healing rates in the game or something like that. Maybe it's just not as major as implementing a brand new way to obtain health and ammo. But I will be on the lookout for those changes and those patch notes. So once we know something, I will update all of you. Now, a change like this one that DICE is implementing, it doesn't sound like a massive change overall, but the effects that this could have on general gameplay I think could be quite large. If more medic and support players start selecting the crate gadgets instead of the pouches, and players in servers start to realise that they can interact directly with these players to get what they need, we might start seeing changes in movement over maps. The current meta in Battlefield 5 is to enter gunfights, try and kill the player, hit your healing button, get your health back and then move on. Invariably, a medic will resupply you with another healing pouch by throwing it at you and a support player will throw you ammo so you can just keep moving constantly. Sometimes you have to stop and take health or ammo from a crate that's on the ground and sometimes you'll loop past a resupply station and you'll move over there and get what you need. Now, with this change, DICE is trying to emphasise the roles of the soldiers directly and place importance on the medic and support classes, since arguably they have the biggest team play potential in Battlefield 5. You already rely on those classes to a certain extent to keep you alive and keep you relevant in gunfights, but this change, DICE is shifting that reliance and displaying it in a slightly different way. And at least on paper, I can see the benefit of a system like this. The only slight downside, from a player perspective, is that you're asking medics and supports to give up their pouch gadgets in favour of crate gadgets, but you're not rewarding them with any XP when players take the supplies directly off your body. So it's a definite downgrade when it comes to player-to-player -player interaction, but then you can drop that crate down on the ground and you will obtain points for players coming up to that crate and taking what they need. By dropping that crate down, you're starting that team play loop and then the player coming in to take supplies, they complete that loop. If the player simply takes the supplies right off of your body, you haven't instigated that team play loop properly. At first, the trade-off of asking people to pick crates over pouches is one that might be hard to convince people to actually do, but over time, I think the system will become much more valuable and perhaps it will change the general behaviour of medics and supports in Battlefield 5. Maybe we're going to see more crates on the ground in this game over the next few months. And just quickly to add on to the end of this video, one final change that DICE is looking into at the moment is adding ammo and health crate icons to the minimap once they've been placed on the ground. Now this is something that was present in previous games in the franchise but it didn't make its way into Battlefield 5 and that may have been simply because there was a much heavier reliance on pouches being thrown to other players instead of putting the crates on the ground. This won't be present in the next patch or maybe not even the next patch after that because they're still investigating whether this is something that they really want to do and maybe it's dependent on how many people start using the crates and putting them down on the ground. If more crates are hanging about that you can go and interact with then having those on the minimap would be a good move in my opinion. So then, those are the medic and ammo changes that are coming to Battlefield 5, and I'm really keen to see what these changes do to the overall meta of the game. Whether they're going to have a big impact or not, that remains to be seen, but I'm keen to learn about those other changes that are coming in this next patch as well, since they could also have a rather large impact, but at the moment, we don't have the patch notes. Once those go live, I'll get right onto them and I'll round everything up into a video for you guys to watch. 
But a big thank you for watching this video today. If you've got any of your own thoughts, leave them down below in the comment section. I know you guys out there have plenty of opinions that differ from my own, so always use that comment section to express your opinion if you've got one. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.